right what's up everyone and today we're going to be going over the basics of the rocket racing uh you know tracks that you could build in uefn and just kind of how to set it all up and everything like that and some of the options that you do have uh with things so for the first thing you, that you want to do whenever you load up uefn is go to island templates and select either competitive racetrack or the speed run track naturally speed run track is just like a point to point it's a speed run you're timed getting you know to the start and finish line and stuff like that a competitive racetrack is more of the typical type of racetrack one that has laps and everything like that uh, so you know I'm gonna go ahead and go into this competitive racetrack uh, just because it has some options that you need to make sure that you're doing properly uh, to be able to actually be able to play and you know finish a map on here so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the competitive racetrack and I will go ahead and cut over until this is done loading all right so there we go this is what it's gonna look like whenever you first uh, load up into the map you'll have the starting gate checkpoint right here and if you notice this one the starting line is checked so that acts like if I uncheck this, it'll go, it won't have that like spiky look to it on there. It'll look like a regular checkpoint. Uh, but if I do that, or if I do it as a finish line, it'll have this spiky one uh, like this. And if you notice this one right here is checked off as the finish line right here and teleport is enabled. The reason why this is, because this is still can be a lapped race, but there will be a teleport. So let's say you have the final checkpoint at a dead end way over here. Once you go through it, you'll teleport back to the starting gate and you keep racing. But most racetracks aren't gonna have that type of teleport ending. Uh, so what you, a lot of times you wanna do is go ahead and uh, turn off that end teleport. And for right now, I'm gonna turn off the finish line option right here. This is just gonna be a uh, regular checkpoint here. Uh, and so the next thing that you wanna do is create a track. Uh, so naturally, whenever you load up, you will see all these different things right here. And like all this is the uh, different stuff like the this is the player start positions. So you got to place all those out. That's, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is just in the devices area of the Fortnite. You know, you have elimination volumes, active track volumes, boost pads, uh, rocket racing checkpoint, uh, competitive race manner, EMP volume, player start position. Uh, speed run uh, race manager and the actual track itself uh, so if you want to do additional tracks on here that like go up sideways and do all weird stuff you would drag that onto there as well uh, but we're not going to get into too like advanced stuff right now I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as possible so y'all don't have to watch a super long video so uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you click on these little like node things right here. The uh, I forget what necessarily they're called, uh, but let's see here. Spline points. That's what they're called right there. So you just click on one of these spline points like this, uh, and you just click on that, and it brings up this style editor. And this is the track style editor. Let's go ahead and drag this over into the side over here so it's out of my way. Uh, but let's go ahead and extend this and make this track an actual circuit, a full loop around. Uh, and so let's go ahead and do that. You're going to hold alt and then you drag it out and it'll create another uh, little section, another point. Uh, so that's always good to be able to have. Let's go ahead and do that right there. And then let's make another one, drag that one out, curve it like this. And let's drag this down. I know it doesn't look exactly perfect. But, you know, I'm just trying to get something done real quick here. So let's go ahead and go like that. And then let's make another one. And let's curve this one that way. Curve it like that. Perfect. Right there. Uh, let's make another one. Go like this. Curve it that way. And let's go ahead and actually let's drag a little bit more right there. And let's fix this. Let's, let's make it less jarring there on there. But if you notice... The track is not connected there. Uh, you know, you could try to perfectly line it up, but that's not what you want to do on here. You don't want to perfectly line it up. What you want to do is go ahead and have this, you know, have one of the spline points connected. And then you go over to device right here in the style editor, go to device, and you will see looping track right there. Check that off and it will automatically connect that where it needs to go. Uh, if you do not have that checked, you know, right there, it'll have the gap. 
Uh, so you want to check that and it will connect it to make it a looping track. So the next thing that you need to do is go ahead and take your, um, take your checkpoints. And this is checkpoint number two that I have on here. It's as a race checkpoint. Of course, you don't need to, you can literally do whatever you want. Uh, but let's go ahead and put a checkpoint right here, like so. Now you could always change your perspective to the top down perspective. Uh, and so that way you can easily like kind of just move your checkpoints around if you want to. So like, uh, here you go. Let's go ahead and get another checkpoint. Let's put it right here and I can't turn it. Uh, but that's fine. You don't need to worry about turning it. This is just to kind of place the checkpoints in the general area. And then you could go back to your normal perspective. And then this is where you actually rotate them and kind of, you know, move them around to fit uh, your track exactly where you need it to be. Uh, so as we go ahead and get this final checkpoint right here, uh, if you notice this one right here is going to be checkpoint number four. Uh, that's checkpoint number four. We got checkpoint, uh, the first one right here, checkpoint number two right here, three right here, four right here. Now, the one thing that you need to do is click on this one. This is the one that's the starting gate. It's, a, you know, it's the checked off as the starting line right here. But make sure your next checkpoint is set to Rocket Racing Checkpoint 2 or whatever you decide to call it. Uh, so this one is the Rocket Racing Checkpoint 2 right here. It says it right up here on the top, uh, Checkpoint 2. And then the next checkpoint is still set to rocket racing checkpoint, which that's the starting gate one. You don't want that. You want to make sure you change it over to checkpoint three, which that's this one right here. So that way that goes the next checkpoint in the system that goes right there. Uh, and then this one is the same thing. If you notice, this one doesn't have anything, no next checkpoint at all. So all you do is just add an element right there, go to here and then go to checkpoint number four. So then the next checkpoint in that uh, series will be number four, which is right here. Uh, and as you click on checkpoint number four right here, it has nothing set right here as well. So you click on that and then you go back to Rocket Racing Checkpoint because uh, that's the next one. This one right here will be the next in the series. So you go back to the very first checkpoint right there. Now, in order to be able to make this an actual a uh, circuit that works you need to make sure you do things properly if you let's say you know at first I thought that you know since they gave you a starting line and a finish line checkpoint I thought you had to have two separate ones uh, for your maps whenever you're making a circuit but you do not uh, if you do check a different one off as a finish line and anytime you try to sit there and launch session let's go ahead and say that uh, an error will happen and then you're not able to actually do it. If you notice right here, this says a non-circuit, uh, in other words, a not looping track that has more than one lap must have teleport enabled. So that is this teleport you know, option right here that I talked about. If it's a point to point type of race, if it goes to the end and it's a dead end and you need to teleport back. But most people don't want that, especially if it is a looped track. If it's a looped track like this, make sure you do not have this as the finish line you have the starting line as also the finish line that is the difference there make sure you have both of those type of things on there uh, and that will make that perfect right there uh, and another thing i forgot to go over earlier is changing your track so if you want to change it go ahead and click on a, a a little point here go to the style editor go to the track and then you're actually able to change the way the track looks. Now, it will go between one point to the next point. So if you wanna change the style of track, you have to make sure you have multiple points within like long sections. Uh, if you wanna change the style of the track, uh, that's whenever you have different sections. So if I go to this one right here, and I wanna have this one as a full circle, uh, that will go right there and then I select this one right here I want this one as a half pipe type of one uh, and that will go right there and this is basically what it is and how you're able to change some different things so I hope this kind of covers the basics of you know setting up the track and everything like that just make sure you start out with those templates it kind of gives you everything you need i can go into more detail with some other stuff later but for right now i just wanted to get the basics out there so people know exactly how to you know make something like this 
and they could get started on making their rocket racing tracks. So if y'all enjoyed this, be sure to be sure to subscribe for more, uh, you know, features, uh, map features that I will be doing here real soon as well as tutorials. If you have any suggestions for some tutorials and I know how to do it, uh, the problem is I'm not very good with verse and everything like that, so I don't know how to do that type of stuff, but I am fairly good with building environments and stuff like that. So if people want to see more of that, maybe a track, a short track with an environment, I am working on some rocket racing tracks right now. Uh, in case you didn't know, my background to building is in Halo. I built a lot of stuff in Halo, especially racetracks in Halo, so I'm so excited uh, to be able to do this type of stuff. So uh, thanks everyone for coming out. Subscribe for more. I'm sorry this went for a little longer. I tried to get through everything as quickly as possible. Uh, but again, subscribe for more uh, you know, uh, tutorials and also Fortnite features and everything like that. I appreciate uh, all of y'all coming out, and I will see y'all in the next one.